guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons of Fiction. Today we are going to talk about Evelyn Carnahan O'Connell. Evelyn is the leading lady in the early 2000s franchise The Mummy. Uh, I believe the first movie came out in 1999 actually. Her character is an Egyptologist. She comes from a family of Egyptologists and currently works as a librarian. And she goes to Egypt along with her brother and an adventurer, Rick O'Connell, to go visit a city of the dead where they end up accidentally awakening a mummy with all consequences. So the early 2000s version of The Mummy is actually a remake of a movie from the 1930s. And the 1999 movie, in any case, is kind of stylized in a way that is very reminiscent of the 30s like the first movie was. So Evelyn is clearly styled in a 30s vintage manner. One of the things I personally always love in kind of historical or semi-historical movies is how well you can see the decade that it was made in. So her kind of look and especially her makeup is very much the 90s vision of what 30s makeup should look like. So she has the thin 30s eyebrows which were by the way worn in the 90s as well pretty much same look but her face makeup and especially her eye makeup is very decidedly 90s with the kind of brown smoky eyes. Evelyn was much requested as a beauty beacon of fiction so today I tried to recreate her iconic look which obviously you can see on me already. Yeah, sorry I keep going back and forth between revealing the result in the beginning and not revealing the result. I'm still trying to kind of figure out what my personal preference is. Um, you guys seem very divided <laughs> on what is best so today I chose to you know do the intro in the look Itself. I'm gonna show you how I got this result. So I'm gonna start with the makeup first and I have decided for the first time in a very long time to block out my eyebrows again. It's been a while. I enjoy doing it. It's a lot of fun. I'm not very good at it still, but I tried. <laughs> I'm going to start by taking a glue stick. This is a non-toxic kind of children's paper glue stick. I'm going to start by flattening my eyebrows by just going over them with the glue stick a couple of times. And I'm making sure to go over them in the direction that they are kind of the flattest. So preferably the direction they grow in. So when I have my first layer on nice and thick, I'm going to go over with some translucent powder and I'm going to pile this on pretty thickly as well. I'm gonna give it a few seconds and then wipe it away again with a fluffy brush and start over. So I'm gonna go over with the glue stick again and then a layer of powder. I'm gonna let it sit for a while and then wipe it back down. And I'm gonna keep doing this however many times I need to until I stop feeling the texture of my eyebrows when I go over the glue with my hands. So when that is nice and smooth and we've done the last layer of powder, I am going to go over with a salmon colored concealer. And this is going to help really block out the gray color that my eyebrows currently have because this is pretty hard to cover with concealer alone. I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with this salmon colored concealer first and I'm going to make sure to really only draw inside the lines of my eyebrows because as soon as this gets on my skin then it's hard to blend in. So I'm going to fill my eyebrows in pretty precisely and then go over with a layer of powder again. So after a couple of seconds I'm gonna wipe that away and then I'm going to try and cover the salmon colored concealer with a skin colored concealer. So I have a pretty opaque one by MAC here that I'm going to use for this and I'm just really pressing it into the skin with my fingers to get the most opaque result possible. And now this is where it's starting to show that I'm not very good at doing this because you can still kind of see my eyebrow hairs. So I'm just trying to really push the concealer in between my eyebrow hairs so that it doesn't show as much. Okay, so when I'm happy, I'm going to go over with a layer of powder again. And while I'm giving that a few seconds to set, I'm going to start applying foundation to the rest of my face which I am then eventually going to put over my eyebrows as well to make sure that all of my face is the same color. And then when the foundation is on, I'm going to go over with one last layer of powder, which I'm really going to leave on for at least a few minutes before I wipe it back down again. And then it's time to work on the actual face makeup. So I'm going to start by drawing in the eyebrows and I'm using a picture of Evelyn um, Rachel Weisz as a reference. And when that is done, I'm going to take my matte kind of brown nude neutral eyeshadow palette and I'm going to start working on the eyeshadow. Now, like I mentioned, Evelyn in the movie is wearing a pretty, you know, distinctly 90s brown smoky eye almost, I'd say. So I'm going to start with a light skin colored color on my eyelids and on my brow bone. And then I'm going to go into my crease with this brown color and I'm just going to keep blending and adding more layers until it looks 
you know, similar to the reference picture I'm using. And don't forget to add a nice layer of brown underneath the eyes as well and blend it out. So when all of that is done, I'm going to take a little bit of mascara that I'm going to apply on my top lashes and on the center of my bottom lashes. So that's the eye look done. Now moving on to cheeks, I'm going to take a pink blush that I will then apply on my cheekbones. So the last step is lipstick and I'm actually going to use a lip pencil just because this is the product in my collection that has a color that's closest to her lip color in a movie. So <laughs> I'm just going to fill in my lips completely with this pencil. And there's the makeup look already done. Oh, I love these eyebrows so much. <laughs> Moving on to hair. Now, I chose the hairstyle that she wears in the library scene. Obviously, I kind of based my outfit um, on that as well. And she's wearing glasses in that scene, which is good for me because now I can actually see the camera that I'm talking to. And we're lucky because that hairstyle gets shown from pretty much all angles in the movie. So I was able to, you know, get a good look at what we're actually working with. So I am going to start by curling all of my hair because we do need that nice brush out as a base for this. So I'm just going to Take a curling iron that is pretty small to begin with, thin, and then it just gets thinner towards the point, I guess, towards the end. And I'm going to use that to curl all of my hair. And when I'm done, I'm going to give the curls a few minutes to completely set and cool down so that we can safely brush them out. I'm going to take down my curls again and I'm going to start brushing them. First, I'm going to just kind of loosen them up with my hands and then I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to brush through this to make the curls clump together for that really nice vintage look. So then I'm gonna split my hair into two. I'm gonna take one of the sides and kind of gently roll it backwards. And then in the back, I'm just going to continue this same roll and I'm going to roll it into a kind of twisted cinnamon bun. Now my hair is a lot shorter and thinner than Evelyn's in the movie. So my bun is gonna end up a lot smaller than hers. Obviously, if you have more hair, it's gonna look more similar. If you have kind of the same hair type as I do, you could use few hair extensions to kind of fill up this bun. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I think it looks pretty cute this way as well. So I'm gonna do that on both sides. And I am going to pay a little bit of extra attention to the front of my hair, so my bangs. And I'm going to pull out a few curls in the front to kind of frame my face. And there is the Evelyn O'Connell look complete. So I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Beauty Beacons of Fiction, guys. If you have any requests for other fictional beauty beacons or real life historical beauty beacons that you would like me to recreate the looks of, please feel free to leave a request in the comments below and I will look through, pick one out for next time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you'd like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there will be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!